Form 5 has grown so much since I started it as a mere 16 year old in high school. Uh, and you know, for the longest time, my joke has been, it's been a one man, one hand show. My name is Aaron Westbrook. I'm the founder and CEO of Form 5 Prosthetics, a nonprofit organization that empowers people to successfully interact with their world and their future. Uh, we do this in a lot of different ways, uh, primarily through uh, innovating and creating 3D printed prosthetics. Uh, we provide these prosthetics to individuals with limb differences at no cost. Uh, and we do it by working with them uh, through our CoFab workshop, uh, where they have an active role in creating their prosthesis. Uh, Form 5 is a really impactful organization in that uh, it's really about uh, being inclusive uh, and collaborative uh, and, and how can we be uh, an organization that, that creates prosthetics that reflect the needs of our users and, and because of that have them be more accessible uh, to the greater community knowing that you know these devices reflect uh, what is needed uh, for those to do what they love and so why not allow others to do the same. It's funny, like this whole process, everyone is so brilliant. They are able to just visualize what they wanna make happen and then they make it happen. And they've been super flexible as we have kind of grown through this process of figuring out what Jack needs to be able to accomplish the goal that is most important to him at the time. We submitted a video because we had heard that um, Form 5 um, was doing a thing called CoFab and that if we could just submit a video that perhaps he would get chosen to be able to make an adapter for him. And at the time he was struggling to be able to, be able to ride his bike and um, he couldn't reach the handlebars very well. We thought if we could just have something that made it a little bit easier for him to reach that handlebar, it would be perfect. Riding his bike is just one of his very favorite things to do, so it's really, really it means a lot to me to be able to see him get on that bike and be able to just ride to his heart's content. I chose to work with Form 5 because like they could help us really a lot with like helping like other people make like prosthetics and for me to help make the shoes. Working with Form 5 was uh, quite a unique experience. They offered uh, some ingenious ideas to solve a problem that we had. The problem we've, been, we've faced for many, many years is how to uh, come up with a pair of shoes for my son that would um, alleviate the problem he has, which is a pretty wide foot and we cannot buy shoes off the rack. So they put their heads together and uh, the design techniques and just the ingenuity came up with a, a solution to our problem. Seeing all the incredible volunteers, that came out, the students, the volunteers, the mentors that worked with the students, and watching the passion grow, and watching it really kind of come from something that was more, I would say, kind of like an academic exercise to do, and something fun, kind of a, a build make event, into when they really started to first meet the recipients and met the parents, they were able to kind of humanize what they were doing, and be able to make that connection to you know, this is the impact that they're going to have. Kind of watching that maturation, and even today, talking to some of the students and the volunteers that are coming up to me and saying, this has been life-changing, and I was like, yeah, it really is. Isn't it life-changing for, you know, Jack and Ray and Owen? And they're like, no, 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 this was life-changing for me. And that, I would say, hearing that today is immensely rewarding. The thing I like the most about CoFab is just really impressive volunteers, really engaged, really smart people just dedicating their, their free time, you know, between the series of meetings and just being hyper, hyper focused on, you know, your child and what your child wants. You know, it's, it's heartwarming and, you know, we're just super appreciative and that's kind of the most impressive thing about all of this is just the really smart people that that uh, are, are you know again volunteering their time just to help help your kid try and, and check something off his list. We're building that adaptive piece of equipment that at the end of the day, the child or the person they're still going to have their impairment. 
you know. But they're not going to have the handi the handicap anymore. We're removing that, and that's impactful. And, and I hope everyone that's involved in this process, all the students, and everyone that that you know could potentially kind of see this and kind of think about it, looks at how can we how can we look at our environment and help remove handicaps because they're really the really physical things that society puts in place, it's not about the individual. COFAB uh, is a workshop. It's really experiential in the sense that it's really about taking these ideas um, that people with limb differences have for prosthetics, adaptive equipment, uh, and turning them into reality. Uh, and as an organization, you know, Form 5, you know, can leverage our, our printers, our technology, our manpower um, to be able to provide an opportunity where those individuals with limb differences can take those ideas and turn them into prosthetics. And, you know, we're, we're able to not only offer, you know, an opportunity for, for, you know, people with limb differences to be exposed to design and engineering and, and ultimately really overcoming, you know, the obstacle that they're facing, but I think it even extends beyond that. I think everyone that's a part of COFAB, from our recipients to our students to our industry mentors, um, they all leave uh, the workshop with a new sense of capability. Um, you know, whether they have a disability or not, um, they come into it maybe thinking, oh, I'm not that great at design or I'm not that great at, you know, uh, sewing or, or something like that. And at the end of the weekend, they figured out, hey, I can sew now. Uh, and so some of those little moments um, that you think you can't do something, sometimes they add up and you realize, um, you know, what, what is this big thing that, you know, I'm, I'm you know, not going after, I'm not chasing after, or anything. the experience of COFAB uh, and, and going after something uh, that may scare you or you may have never done before um, is exhilarating and I think um, it inspires more people to, to do the same.